You disgust me! I didn't know you from Adam, but still I took you in. And this is how you repay me. I... I didn't do anything. Please believe me, I... I was just feeding Leopold as normal. What? What did you call him? It's Sir Leopold! Just who do you think you are? <coughs> Has this imbecile upset you too, Sir Leopold? Of course he has! Such impertinence! And as if omitting your title wasn't enough, no doubt the vile liabouts like feeding you too, hmm? Please, Master. D d don't be angry. I'm more than happy to serve Leopold, uh, uh, Sir Leopold, his dinner whenever he wants it. And well, you should be. Get on with it then, you disgusting little maggot. Yes, Master. At uh, uh, once, Master. Well, Sir Leopold. Enjoy your dinner, now that it's finally arrived. <laughs> David, Sir Leopold is as much your master as I am. I shouldn't have to remind you that you treat him with the utmost respect. Understood? Ah, you're back. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for my servant's unsightly display. So, what are you doing here? If you've come to report back, I'll uh, 
be waiting in my room. I hope that little scene before didn't upset you. Is nothing unusual. I don't know why, but just looking at David's face makes my blood boil. Of course, I'd never dream of firing him. I have far too much fun being his master. <laughs> but enough of that. Have you got the jewels? Have you brought me the Cran Spindles? Ha <laughs> You have! I won't have you bore me with details. I only care about results. Just holding them in my hands, I can feel the waves of magical energy flowing out of them. Yes, the Cran Spinners. 
My king, an impenetrable barrier, will be simplicity itself with these. That wand-wiving bimbo won't stand a chance. And I expect you're feeling rather pleased with yourself. Helping the great Dominico is an honor, is it not? So, let me reward you. You may serve me as a god until that meddling girl comes back. I presume you accept this honor. Very good. From this moment on, you will be my bodyguards. And now, for the first task in your new post. Come this way. This leads to my secret library. You will find a book for me in there. The book is called The Big Book of Barriers. It contains a recipe for making a very powerful barrier. What on earth took you so long? That pesky wand-waving bimbo is turned up again. I must erect the barrier immediately. Did you find the big book of barriers? Don't disappoint me now. Yes. Yes, this is it. Now. Let me see... Yes, the final barrier. I must begin at once. You! Go outside and stall that meddlesome floozy! What are you worrying about? I'll have it done in a flash. 
can't you tell a great magician when you see one? Just before you go. Fiery foo and babbling goo. Behold! Now that you're in top form, go and stall that wand-waving menace. Every second counts, go! Ignored my advice to prepare a stronger defense. Shut up! You won't get past me! I won't let you lay a finger on Master Dominico! Dominico? <laughs> What's so funny? Such a pity that you should die never knowing about your noble origins. I could tell from the start that this absurd show-off was not the one. The Scepter is all-knowing. No, I seek the chosen heir of the great sage Koopas, one of the seven who sealed away the Lord of Darkness, Rathorn. David, it's you. What a pity that the one who should be protecting you is unaware of his responsibility. <laughs> I wondered when you turn up. Fine, I knew I'd have to fight you somewhere along the way. I have to admit, I'll be a little sad to watch you die!
It's, it's not, not possible. possible. No, no human could match the power of the scepter. scepter. You won't get away with this. Now you'll see the true power of this scepter. Already it has ended the bloodlines. A fall of the sages! This town will burn! And every one of you will perish! Get out of the way! Move! Move! Just in the nick of time, the barrier is ready. Yo, villainous fiend! Take my life, would you? Well, you'll have to break through my barrier first! Alakazam!
<laughs> Behold, I am a mastermind. Well done. You did a fine job of keeping her at bay until I was ready. I must reward you. You may have the honor of finishing her off. Do you accept? What? Why on earth not? Explain yourself. Well, well. So, this girl is a friend of yours. And she's been under some kind of curse ever since you defeated the Dual Magus. Oh, hardly a good excuse. But I don't care anymore. The girl is yours to do with as you please. Consider it a reward for attempting to protect my life. There won't be any, um, <clears throat> financial reward, of course. <laughs> Wait, where's Sir Leopold? He's gone. He must have been scared off by all the disturbance. David, go and find Sir Leopold at once. Y yes, Master. I heard this story from my great-grandmother. She told me how her own great-grandmother was a renowned sage who came from the Western continent to be married. A sage? What do you mean? I didn't really understand at first either. But apparently, even though she was a woman, she was a master of sword fighting and magic. Really? So... Maybe that's why you're so good at them, too. Maybe it came from her. If only. But I'm not under any illusions. I'm sure there's room for improvement with my sword work. And any real magician would think my magic's just child's play. You think? Well, I can't do either. If you ask me, your magic's amazing. Thanks. But it really isn't. In fact, if you ask me, I wasn't the one who inherited our ancestors' magic. I think it was you, Jessica. I'm sure there are abilities and skills that haven't yet been awakened in you, but one day they will be. And I can't wait to see you when that day comes. like you're back with us at last. Don't you remember? You disappeared the day after we defeated Dormagus. Yes, I do remember. But wasn't that all a dream? I was being controlled by a hideous magical force. Just like Dormagus was. It was this huge, terrible, evil, magical being. The Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn. But I found some things out. Listen, I've got so much to tell you. But there's no need to rush. Just take your time and start at the beginning. Yes. 
Rapthorn was ordering me to do things. He told me to seek out and destroy the heirs of the Seven Sages so his seal would be broken. Rapthorn once terrorized the world, and it was the Seven Sages who managed to seal away his soul. They didn't have the power to destroy him completely, but they shut his soul away in the scepter and sealed it with their mystical blood. Rapthorn's curse seeks to destroy those sages' heirs. Master Rylas, my brother Alistair, Abbot Francisco, and the man from Baccarat. Everyone who's been killed has been an heir of one of the Seven Sages. Hmm. The plot thickens. Do you mean to say that the reason Medea and I haven't been turned back to normal is also to do with this Rapthorn fellow? I don't know. But there are only three heirs left, David and two others. If the heirs of all seven sages are wiped out, Rapthorn's seal will be broken and he'll escape from the sept... That's it! The scepter! King Trode, where is it? Where's the scepter? <gasps> you mean the royal treasure? Come to think of it, I don't know. I lost sight of it in all of the hullabaloo. No! David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on, we must find the scepter before it's too late.
happy without Sir Leopold Master Dominico would would be so unhappy Master what, What's happened? David? Esteemed heir to the great sage Coopers? Why has it taken me so long to realize? I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. My ancestors brought me and Cooper's heir together for a reason, but I... I... No. Just thinking about it is too painful. Is unbearable. <laughs> I must apologize if I worried you. It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. Now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design to fulfill my family's destiny. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Protecting David. This has always been my duty. But somewhere along the way, my ancestors let the power go to their heads. We lost sight of our true purpose. If only I'd realized all this sooner, I could have prevented this tragedy. I ordered my servants to bury David as the heir to a great sage should be buried. But nothing can put right the wrong I have done. I am not fit to show my face in public. Will you do me one last favor? I know it was my Leopold who ended David's life. It pains me to have to ask you, but will you destroy him for me? Will you avenge the spilt blood of the sages? That Creature isn't my Leopold anymore. He's being controlled by some evil magic. I know this won't make amends for my unforgivable ignorance, but it's all I can do now. And I owe you something too, for all the trouble I have caused you. 
Oh, yes. I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential as a magician. Allow me to awaken the dormant powers within you. People say they saw Leopold heading north out of town. That's where you should start looking. I'm sorry to have to ask this of you. I wish you the best of luck. Wait a minute. Uh, it's nothing much, but ever since we defeated Dormagus and I picked up the scepter, I haven't been able to speak my own mind, so I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness Rapthorn is, but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. I don't intend to stop searching until we found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So, uh, I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together. Sorry, did that come out a bit strange? Really? Thanks. You're sweet, you know that?
Jessica! I didn't know you were... Sorry, Bangers. I'm only dropping in for a bit. I've still got a long way to go. It's a bit complicated. I've kind of avenged Alistair's death, but I kind of haven't. <laughs> it's okay. We're being guards until you come back. By the time you get back properly, me and Mash will be the best guards ever! Jessica! Sorry, but it's a bit com... <laughs> By the top... to turn myself back. But <laughs> maybe this will work. Transform! <laughs> That's it! Phew! I was worried I wouldn't be able to turn back.
When did you get back? Just now. But I've got to leave again straight away. I still haven't dealt with the person responsible for Alistair's death. I'm sorry. No. Oh, that's all right. You do what you have to do. Just make sure you come back when it's all taken care of. I have something I should like to give to you. Please, come this way. This is... This is Alistair's. This was my son Alistair's armor. I want you to have it. I'm sure it will be of use to you on your travels. He wouldn't have wanted it to sit here gathering dust. He would have wanted it to be used. Mom! It's what he would have wanted, Jessica. Thank you. away from home, I thought that if I could only stop Dormagus, I'd at least have avenged Alistair's death. But it turns out Dormagus was just a puppet. Rapthorn is the real villain. You know, I can't help wondering what chance people like us stand against an enemy like that. It seems so hopeless. Ugh, listen to me. I sound like such a wimp. I don't know what's got into me lately. I'm normally the one giving everyone else encouragement, right? Do you really think so? <laughs> You're always so kind. All right then. We've got an early start tomorrow. We should probably get some sleep. Alistair, once all this is over, I'll be back. I promise.
I have some good news. I've just turned 18. How about that? I had grass instead of birthday cake, though. I remember the first time you came to the castle. We were just eight years old. It's hard to believe we've known each other for ten years now. You were an orphan, so you lived in the castle. And in what seemed like no time, you worked your way up to Palace Guard. Actually, I have a secret. I recommended you for the position to my father. It was a way to bring you closer to me, so we could spend more time together. And anyway, you deserved it. So, my brave palace guardsman, I'm counting on you to make sure I spend my next birthday as a human. I know you can do it. So you're back, are you? <laughs> and not just to say hello to your old friend Calderasha, I see. Very well. 
for you. I will clear the mists for free. But you are lucky. The great Calderasha's usual fee is astrological. So, what hides in the mists of my crystal ball today? Let me see. Yes, yes, they are clearing now. And what? What is this? Master? Hmm? Do you think perhaps you could teach me some magic soon? Not this again, Dalmagus. You are not yet ready, as I've said many times before. What about your chores, hmm? Have you finished clearing up outside? Oh, um, no, not yet. Well, don't just stand there. Get on with it. Sorry, Master. Mm, there's still something missing. But what? I'm so close now. So very close. Ah. <sighs> How many years has it been now? How many years spent scrubbing floors and dusting shelves? Is this truly what it is to be a sage's apprentice? He hasn't taught me a thing. What little magic I do know I've had to teach myself. <laughs> if such piffling parlor tricks can even be called magic. Uh, how am I ever going to master real spells when my every waking minute is taken up with mind-numbing chores? Hmm? What's this about? A legendary scepter, sealed away in Castle Tredane? Ah, uh, uh, um, I, um, I meant it, I meant it, I That's it. That's the answer. If I only had that scepter, I could wield any magic I wanted. Dulmagus, what are you doing? Uh, ah, master, I, um... Uh... I have warned you about reading my grimoires without prior permission, have I not? They are not for your eyes. You still have to grasp even the most basic principles of magic use. <coughs> and yet you cannot even follow that one simple rule. Bah, I'd be better off with a dog as an apprentice. At least it would obey me. <coughs> Where are you going? Dulmagus, come back here! to be allowed to entertain you, Your Majesty. I have prepared some <laughs> tricks for your amusement. Very good. Most impressive. 
Yes, most impressive indeed. You will stay here at the castle tonight. I insist as a reward for that remarkable show. <laughs> you are too kind, Your Majesty. What? <laughs> ah, ah, my eyes! Is that you, Dullmagus? Where have you been all this time? Anyway, I owe you an apology. I should not have spoken to you the way I did. Your failings as an apprentice are mine as a master. But enough about that. I have great news. After years of experimentation and research, my elixir is all but complete. When you drink it, it will awaken the latent magical potential that lies within you, Dulmegas. And with a little hard work, you will at last be able to weave the potent enchantments you have always dreamt of. <gasps> Dulmegas, what's happened to you? Where did you get that scepter? Oh no! You haven't! Hmm... Such a pity! Such a pity! Such a pity. Such a pity. So, now we know how it happened. What a terrible end for poor Rylos. Had I only known what a fiend that jester was, I would never have let him cross the threshold. Cool, blimey! But Rylus was a careless master, I must say. One must be in touch with one's servant's needs and moods. It's little wonder he met such a sticky end. <laughs> <clears throat> There is nothing more to see in my crystal ball today. Go! When next you come, the great Caldarasha will tell for you another fortune, though maybe not for free.
Welcome to Dreamland, Sleepyhead. I'm so grateful for these chances to talk to you. And I'm so happy Jessica's back with us. Even if Father and I are still cursed. Sometimes I wonder if we'll have to spend the rest of our lives like this. I'm sorry. It's just that I get so sad every time I think of Trodane covered in thorns. You know what's strange though? That you weren't affected by the curse. But I shouldn't be surprised. I always knew there was something special about you. Don't forget to take me to the spring every now and then. I miss talking to you. Thank you. 